Marjorie Taylor Greene's statements have struck a chord with a segment of the U.S. populace, disenchanted with Democratic policies and feeling that Donald Trump has been unfairly targeted by political adversaries. You know, I wasn't going to talk about the things that I uh, had spoken with Speaker Johnson about, but since they actually got leaked, um, and I'm like, I don't know if it came out of his office or not. Um, yeah, I think I can talk about them. These are very reasonable requests, especially given that we have a Republican majority and the American people gave us a Republican majority because they're fed up with the Democrat policies. Um, asking for the Hastert rule is the right thing to do for my conference. Uh, the majority of majority should support the bills that are voted for on the floor. Also, demanding no more money for Ukraine. That is the right thing to do, and it also obeys the majority of the majority. Um, also, asking for no more special counsels. Look, you guys, we saw Robert Mueller and the Russia collusion witch hunt. These are political. We're watching what Jack Smith has done. The FBI tampered with evidence and made this look completely fake with the documents. And now Jack Smith has lied in court. This is political. And the Department of Justice should never serve as the campaign arm of Joe Biden's administration and his campaign. This is wrong. President Trump is our presidential candidate. He is being abused and the American people are fed up with it. It is absolutely the right thing to do to end the special counsel. These requests are not complicated and also demanding that we have a 1% cut in our budget is the right thing to do for the American people who are over $34 trillion in debt. This is not, these are not unreasonable requests. These are the right things to do. These are the right things to do for our conference and our Republican speaker who ran through the Democrat agenda should be able to get it done since we're a Republican control. Uh, so this is an Green's assertion that the American people are fed up with echoes a common sentiment among certain voters. Her advocacy for limited government intervention, fiscal responsibility, and adherence to Republican ideals aligns with conservative principles. Her calls for fiscal austerity and opposition to special investigations resonate with those seeking to trim government spending and rein in federal agencies' overreach. The influence of cognitive biases such as confirmation bias and motivated reasoning in shaping Green's viewpoints and behaviors is evident. Her remarks often reinterpret events to reinforce existing beliefs, solidifying her identity as a defender of conservative values. Green's rhetoric taps into feelings of fear, anger, and frustration to rally support from individuals who share concerns about the nation's trajectory.